Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father, and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? But Kitty wants it. Then you reject my proposal? You will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. I shall do it. It's begun.
have climbed a tree. Don't catch like Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Oh, did you hear that, Amalia? I have another admirer. That's because you're wonderful, Kitty. I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. when Kitty sings to me. Very well. I shall do it. It is begun. As you say, it shall be done. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Kitty is my best friend. Thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs>
with the flower? Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. I shall do it. It is begun. As you say. Oh, it's a flower. What do you need? He's my best friend. It is begun. It shall be done. Very well. It is begun. It shall be done. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Very well. It is begun. It's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. It shall be done. Kitty says Grandpa Velham locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? I like it when Kitty sings to me. Tell me a story. Tree. Oh look, someone's come to play. You have... Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. You are so kind, Amalia. Talking is simple enough. Once you know, nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. I have been bound. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. That's... I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely thank the mages will... Oh, the... I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. As you say. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Begun. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty.
Very well. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? It shall be done. It is begun. Kitty is my best friend. about the sun, silly. <laughs> As you say. I'll be done. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. It shall be done. Very well. wanted a cat and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> about the sun, silly. <laughs> it shall be done. It shall be done. I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. begun very well tell me a story as you say very well as you say Watch the cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty.
can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. You'll need a phrase to activate, Shale. It's dual and hard. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now we should go, and quickly! Thank you again. We owe you our lives. It looks like... like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem, and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here, of all places. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes, just my luck. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, 
I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what shall I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about, then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting.
trap right ahead. Here. As you say. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard, and, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care. But she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. and raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that, I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kaelin's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. No, I, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest.
Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. Well, look at this. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. And now you're a Grey Warden. My pup used to tell me stories about them. Templars took the boat. I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not the ferryman no more. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over. But I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. Ha! Huh. Water down ale, damp beds, rickety stools. Why do I even bother? Good day. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course. What would you like? How deep is this lake? Do you think we're allowed to swim in it? Yes. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually... He would. Good point.
He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. True enough. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Oh, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much. Enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. My wounds! They burn! It's unbearable! They'll rip you apart this and eat cool. you from the inside out. I will not out. subject even an animal to such a terrible fate. Why are you here? What do you mean? Women are priests or merchants, or artisans, or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. I have no idea how to answer this. It is not done. There is no more to it. Do you mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. Stan! No, never mind. Let's drop this.
returned to the tower? Why did the Templars let you through? Are you here to warn us? I see you still care about the Circle and our tower. Unfortunately, the Circle is in grave danger. You've heard, then. I suppose the Templars would not let you in without warning you first. The Templars have barred the doors. They will only open them if they intend to attack us. Is that what is happening? <sighs> they sent for it, then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. If anyone could survive this, it would be the first Enchanter Irving. It was he who told me to look after the children. It's a long story. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynn, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing. Though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Yes. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard.
shall be done. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. Yes, it is I, Owain. You remember. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Onward, then. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Sergo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. Don't you remember what it was like living here? The Templars watching. Always watching. We thought, someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. But I... I would like a chance to atone for what I've done. Please, if you spare me, I... I could escape and seek penance at the Chantry. You know, they'll never take you. They're very picky about who they let in. Harlots, murderers, yes! Maleficarum, oh no. I just want my life. Please. No! 
No, please. There is no glory in bloodshed! Oh. 